Hello, this is David Birch at Starpath School of Navigation with another note on charts and uh, loading charts into OpenCPN. Uh, as always, we want to recommend you look at their manuals, uh, which are detailed and useful. Uh, user manual, I would say user manual probably. Then we're going to do this time charts by manual download, which is uh, charts and uh, charts and uh, manual install. That's what we're going to do now. And so here, as always, there's some notes. Um, I, I Actually, I may be adding a few things that are not here. But anyway, this is always good to start with this. So uh, let's go back then to the program. And uh, we go to the wrench. We go to, these are the base maps that are installed and running, that high, re, uh, high resolution base map, uh, base map. Go to Chart Loader, then hit Add. And then, um, oh, actually, we're Chart Loader. Well, it's actually good to start with a Chart Loader anyway. So let's do that again. Let me back up a minute. We're doing uh, we're doing manual loading now. We're not using the chart loader, but let me recommend that if you're going to do manual loading, to maybe start with a chart loader anyway. And so let's go to Hawaii. That's the example we've been doing, and then we'll say add, and then we'll go to chart catalog. No, go to NOAA, R N C. Uh, by state, say, and then Hawaii, and then say OK. Now, uh, if we look at our local files, um, well, let me let me uh, let me show local files here, and um, see local files. It's set up the directory, but there's really nothing in here. This just says it's going to have a directory, but there's no catalog in here yet. And even when we're doing it manually, there's a virtue to loading this catalog first. So if you just go here, I went to, uh, no wait, chart downloader, add, and then back here, NOAA RNC uh, by state, and then Hawaii, and now OK. And now, oh, it's there twice. Hmm. Well, let's see what that does. Let's just update that. Now let's go ahead and look back to local files. And um, so here's the here's the root directory. Here's the RNC. Here's where I did in an earlier video. I loaded all of them. We'll come back to that maybe. And then here is this. So even though it showed up twice there. So here's the directory that we wanted. And I'm not going to open this, but I'll just tell you what this is. This is a list of all the charts in the state of Hawaii. And now that OpenCPN has them in this folder, has this catalog, then it will update automatically the ones we load manually. Um, there may be other ways to do that, but uh, this is probably a good thing to do. And that's all we need out of that. That catalog is in there now. So let's stop. That's good enough. We've got the catalog installed. Um, let me spread this apart here if I can and see what these things are. RNC, please update for, I don't know what that is. I'm going to just delete that. Okay. So there's, here's that. I'll go double check. Everything's still okay here. Yep, the catalog is still there. All right. Now, let's do it manually now. So uh, let's start putting, well, actually, let's do something else. I'm going to do something else. First of all, load any Hawaiian chart. It doesn't matter which one, northern part. Lo I want to load this so you see what they look like when you go there. So I, I apply, uh, apply download selected charts. I took a look, look, I got a fairly small one. That's good. Okay, so that's apply. It just loaded it. Now let's go to local, show local files. So back to RNC. So there's all Hawaii. I did those earlier. We'll come back to that. Uh, so this is the US Hawaii. It's got the directory in there. Now this directory lists all these charts, but this 19, this is the actual chart. So there, 
there what we did was we let the chart loader load one chart. So when we load our other charts, this is the type of file that we need to get in there. A folder that has that kind of number to it, and inside of it it has this, uh, this has a main chart, 5.2 megabytes. Uh, oh, look at that, obviously it downloaded a compressed version. It did, yes, of course. It downloads a zip file and then uncompresses it, does that automatically for you. Um, then, uh, then this is a tag file, the BSB file, uh, describes the chart itself. Um, let's see, if I open this with text edit, just for the heck of it. Yeah, you see, that's all that's in there. It's telling you a little bit about the chart uh, and so forth. So that's, um, the open CPN will actually run uh, let's see, cancel, let me just hide that. Okay, OpenCPN will run without this, without this file, but it's, it's a lot handier to have it. it. When you look at the information at the bottom, you'll get a better description. So that's, the main thing now is I want to show, this is, what the, this is what the package should look like. And we've got one in there, that's okay. So now let's, uh, let's go, let, okay, we're done with that. Now we're going to do things manually, and so manually we go to here. Oops, no, here. This is the page I've shown before. This is a page we set up that lets you get to the, these various catalogs in an easy way. I recommend at your convenience sometime just surf through here and see what these look like. But we'll go here for now. This is kind of a workhorse. Uh, of the setup and so let's go down to Hawaii and now we have a little more control over it because we don't really have to know the name of the chart we can just see what it looks like and pick out the one we want okay so let me zoom in and let's just say for now I want this little guy here on the corner uh, on the corner and so what you would do is that's selected it you go here, available products, RNC. So you click that. Then up in the, then you can read uh, what the, presumably the rules are. And then you say okay. Now that downloads the chart, and it's going to go into the downloads, and that's the chart number, and it's zipped, and say okay, save. So that's there. Now. Um, if you're in a Mac or PC, it depends on how they do this. On a Mac, you can just click this thing and it's going to unzip it automatically. If you're on a PC, you have to be sure you have some kind of unzip function. I think Windows 10 comes with one, but uh, earlier ones you might have to download WinRAR or WinZip or some kind of utility that unzips these. But I think on a Mac, I can, let me just see if I double click that. Yeah, it did it. So here's what it downloaded. Here's the file it downloaded, 19, the zip. And when I double click that zip, well, I can do it again. See, I double click it again, and it just un, un, unzipped it again. Uh, but every, every time you get one of these, it's gonna be called BSB root. So we have to be a little bit careful about that. So now if you open up BSB root, there's the, there's the file. And you see, this is exactly the format we want. It's a folder with a chart name, and it's got these two files in it and some uh, boilerplate uh, user agreement. So that's what we want. Now what we wanna do is put that folder into the right place. So let me uh, just duplicate this finder. Yeah, so now I have two of these finders or you in the PC. You can do command N there too and you'll duplicate the uh, viewer of the window. Now we're going to, where have we been putting these in documents, charts. Okay, and you see here is the uh, Here's Hawaii, and here's this chart, and here's the index that OpenCPN gave us. It has a list of all the charts in Hawaii, Hawaii, RNCs. So we would just come over here and take this file here and put it in there. Whoops, didn't go quite the right place. Let me try again. Well, let me try it this way. Okay. Uh, boy, I'm having trouble. Does it go there? Well, this is this is not open CPN issue. This is me trying to run a Mac. 
Ah, there we go. We got it. So now we have in here these two charts, the one we downloaded automatically and this one. And then we could do the same thing if we want to. We go back here, chart locator. Let's say we want Honolulu as well. I'll just do one more to show this process quickly. We go to RNC. We say OK. It's downloaded it to the downloads. Say yes, that's OK. Save. Uh, this we don't need anymore here. Now I go to the downloads here. And there's the uh, BSB root. So here we have to be careful. See this BSB root here. Oh, I don't know. it. Oh, well, let me just delete that out of there. I don't know what that is. Okay. So here is the one, here is the one we just did, 12, 1207, yeah, this one. So let me un, unclick that guy. Now there's, see again, un, it's this is what you have to pay attention to, that's BSB root again. But if you open that one, that's now a different chart. So we come back here, and let's see if I can somehow get that guy in there. I take this guy, and I want to put him here. Does that work? Not quite. Okay, I got to put it here. This could be easy. This could, in fact, be easier on a PC. Um, anyway, so now I got all three of the charts in there. And these are three, two I downloaded manually and so forth. Okay, so that's closed. They're in the right place. Um, oh, no, okay. So we actually, these. this is showing the files it's looking at. And this has appeared twice. We don't really need that twice. I'm going to delete that. Remove select. That's all we need because they're all in that folder. OK. So there we go. Now they're installed. Let's see if they show up. Um, well, OK. Back to our wrench. Back to the display. And show the outlines. OK. Apply show the outlines. So look, there's the three charts we downloaded. And we're on a quilted display. And how do I know it's quilted? It's because I can't see the symbols here. And also, when they're quilted, I don't see the uh, tag up there. So when they're trimmed right like that, they're on the quilted version. So uh, these are the charts. Now, as I zoom in here and out if I want this chart's going to actually zoom in automatically here when I come in here at some point it's going to zoom in you see like that and work just fine so that's I've manually likewise if I come over here but I could force myself there's that chart there's that chart this little guy not showing up yet there he goes so now, in this mode, it's showing, these are the chart bar. You can turn on these different charts. So anyway, that's how we load them manually. Um, that's manually loaded charts. And uh, let, I th that's basic. OK, so let me go back and review what we've done. If we go to charts, these are, this is the folder where these charts are located. If I, if I shut this off, if I remove it, you see, if I remove it and say apply, I didn't remove the charts. All I did was they, didn't, they don't show up. They don't show up. I could go back to this, for example, and say add directory, add directory. Now let me see this is the one we did before. So if I add that directory and say OK, then we're right back to uh, OK, apply. So now we're right back to where we were, just those three charts. Or if I went back here to the wrench, charts, add directory, add directory, um, I could go to all the Hawaii charts. Or let, let's even show another, let's show another trick here. Let's add a, wait a minute, cancel. Okay, let me get clear. Okay, we want to add a directory. Okay. So now it's going to open up my, this is just a finder or the directory of your computer. And let me go, I'll just show you something. In my own work, I usually keep the charts. Um, 
let's see where it charts here. I keep the charts here on the on the um, in the downloads, but it doesn't matter. But uh, let's just see RNC. I'm just going to do it. No, that's not what I wanted to show. RN oh, pilot chart. That's what I wanted to show. Okay, so let's just say I want to show the North Pacific pilot. Oops, back up. I want, remember, you're not selecting a chart now, you're selecting a directory. So I select a directory, I say OK. Now I'm looking at these, so I just say apply. OK. Now, OK, apply, OK. So now if I zoom out, look, I've got this nice, uh, nice picture of the, uh, of the pilot chart in the background. But if I come in here to some level, then I get a confusing situation where I've got this guy hiding this guy. So I want to, for the time being, not even look at these charts. So I would go back here and then just hide these guys. Remove directory. Now let's remove, let's remove reviewing them, so apply. Okay. So now I'm just looking at this guy. You see? So that's the way that works. And if you want to go back to your normal ones, get rid of this guy, remove directory, add directory. Go uh, documents, uh, charts, charts, uh, RNC, uh, Hawaii. There's the ones. Or, or let me go back. Here's a, okay. So it doesn't matter. So we, ah, uh, I don't want to just select. If I select this one, I'll only see those charts. I want to come in here and select this one. Say okay, and apply. And the back, that other guy should go away. Apply. Okay. So now I'm back to just those three charts I installed. So that's how you load them manually. And that's where I'm going to stop here. And later I will add one more video just about uh, working with charts in general. But that's the end of that one.